just before we get started, I just wanted to give my condolences um, to the family of Claude Humphrey. Obviously, uh, Claude was a, was a great player in this league and a, a great person and, and another guy that was from Memphis that uh, ended up coming here to Atlanta. So I just wanted to send my condolences to his family. With that, I'll open it up. Uh, yeah, Coach, you get the uh, touchdown right before the half and then come out and uh, drive in and then the, the fumble happens. How pleasant was that for, the, for when you well, had the opportunity to take the lead here? Well, I, I wouldn't call it deflating. I mean, those are mistakes that you don't want to obviously make there, D-Led. But our mindset is, I mean, if you're, if you're going to say things are deflate you or concern you in the middle of the game, it's a battle. we got to be cleaner with the football. There's no doubt about that. That's obvious. But deflate, that's not a word we use. So we're going to keep fighting and swinging. How damaging it was for your effort today. You got a chance to take the lead and then you didn't have You can rephrase it however you want. I mean, they made a play. Uh, we'll, you know, we got to continue to work on that. We'll be cleaner. Um, so, uh, call it damaging, call it deflating. We don't use those words. D led, we continue to swing and fight. We'll fight till the finish. Michael. Yeah. Arthur, take it through, I guess, the thought process of the play calling. You don't have to go on. You had the first and goal on the one. We'll, what what we'll part of the. Just, I guess, A, why not look, try to run the ball? We did. We had a fumble snap. So, Definitely. you want to chime me into our headset? I'll, I'll show you the call sheet. So I guess what did, what were you, were there things that you saw maybe to go play action that yeah. on that? Yeah, I mean like you're you're asking a pretty uh, you have a question here. So the thought process was you're trying to call plays to score touchdowns. I mean that's pretty obvious, Michael. I mean that's kind of a um, pretty obvious. So again, what are you asking? Are you asking the type of plays called? Yeah, I guess. What, yeah, what was, was there something that you saw to get Yeah, I wouldn't have called it if I didn't. I mean you're asking kind of the like no brainer like. You don't call plays to think, hey, this hope this hope this works. We don't think it's going to work. Like that's that's just an. If you're asking if we had called a run, yes, we did, and we had a, a snap issue. Why do you feel like there's been so many offers to the last What kind of issues? We didn't do what? We had one offensive touchdown and four. So I already want to phrase it. Look, we've continued to improve, Michael. So, again, I, I, I understand what you're trying to ask to, to create a, a narrative. If you look at the last two games, uh, you know, we've been pretty pretty good running the football. Had a chance here. Uh, it's a good football team. We made too many. You know, we turned the ball over. You make some mistakes. It's hard to beat a good football team like that. So, if you want to score stats in certain spots to fit a narrative, great. All I know is this team's improved. You look at last week, you look at this week. Um, I don't have the number in front of me, but I know we had over 100, what was it, 150 yards rushing. So, however your mind works. How much did the way the score, the halftime score and the way the game went affect the second half play college, your second half play college? Well, still, the game was, you know, was never really when you got to get in the hurry up at the end. Ten point game for you know as, as you get into it similar in the fourth quarter it's not going to alter your your game plan Tori? Tampa Bay had 11 quarterback hits and five sacks and, and y'all had one quarterback hit right how did that I guess those two stats shape this game yeah certainly the, the sacks are going to hurt you I mean, when you read a stat like that uh, they did a nice job protecting they kept they kept Brady clean. Obviously, it's everybody's attention to get after the quarterback. They did a nice job. They got good players up front. Um, certainly, we'll look at it and see what you know. What could we tweak here? Um, but yeah, that's usually a pretty good tell of how it went. Steve, well, I guess following up on that, is there really any way to defend Brady if you don't get pressure on him? Uh, sure. I mean, play, make the ball, catch the ones he throws you. And we, Marlon caught one. Uh, you know, he threw Dion another one. We didn't catch it. So he's a great player. But certainly, if he gives you opportunities, we've got to make a play on the ball. But there's, there's other ways to defend him. But he is a great player. How close were you, Michael? What's that, Josh? How close were you to going forward on the If it had been, it had been fourth, probably eight or less, that's when you, you would have considered it. Fourth and 12, where the ball's at midfield. You know, the way they're rushing, you know, the odds are, are stacked against you there. And you're basically going to hand in the ball. 
with one first down away pretty much for field goal. So we punted it down there. We had confidence, and to their credit, they made plays and they converted. And, uh, that, you know, that's how the game ended. We will we'll reassess everything every Monday. How do you feel like that went today? Well, you know, I'll have to watch the film. I mean, if the surface level the snaps, we got to clean that up surface level. So that's kind of what, but we got to look at the film. And Vita Vea has a good nose. They got good guys in front. Sure, playoffs. still in the mix. Is there anything you do as head coach to sort of convey to your players about um, we're still in it? Sure. What we have to do yeah, that's a good question, Jeff. Because, again, you know, you know how it is. You've covered sports a long time. So you're sitting there looking at it, however you want to shape it up in your mindset. The truth is we're still in the mix. We've got five games to go. It's a lot of football left. And, uh, like I said, we'll get back to work. We've seen a lot of improvement the last two weeks. And we're excited about the challenge to go on the road again. And, uh play a divisional opponent. So we got to be ready to go because the opportunity is still there, Jeff. And uh, that's a great point. And they know that. We know it. And that will be our charge. Coach, uh, uh, the uh, Tampa Bay was only able to run the ball 17 carries, 57 yards. Do you think that that's a recipe for or, for wins um, going forward, being able to keep a team one-dimensional still being in the game, even though they had so much success passing? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of who they are. I mean, I believe going to this game, they're 31st in the league in rush attempts. I mean, they got good players up front. I mean, when they got the talent level they got outside, and you got Brady at quarterback, and they, they protect pretty well for most of the year. I mean, there's – so, I mean, they, they throw it. I mean, that's always kind of been Bruce Arians' MO. They got, they got a decent run game, and they have to run it when they need to. But that wasn't a surprise. I mean, if you look at the numbers going, going into this thing. Uh, you know, we we constantly look at everything. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't win the ones that that I felt we should. You know, we should have. I mean, there's a reason why. Um, you know, some of it's matchup based. We got to play better, certainly at home. Um, so there's a lot of factors to it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.